Okay, so question 13. We're given a regular hexagon and a regular octagon, and we're asked to calculate this angle X, and we need to show all our workings. Okay, the first thing I'd like to work out is this angle here, this red angle, and then I would also like to work out this blue angle, and then I can add them up and take them away from 360 to get X, because the angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Let's start by going for this red angle. Now, the important thing is, it's a regular hexagon, which means all the angles are the same size. So I need to know how many degrees are in the shape in total. Nice easy way to do that is to take your shape and divide it into triangles. So I'm going to start from one particular spot, doesn't matter where you start from, just remember to keep going back to it. Split your shape into triangles. So I can see that there are four triangles, one, two, three, four triangles in the shape. Each triangle has 180 degrees, so there's going to be four lots of 180 degrees within that shape. Four times 180 is going to be 720 degrees. So 720 degrees in the whole shape. All the angles are the same. There is six of them. So if I do 720 divided by six, that'll tell me the size of the red angle, and in fact, every other angle in the shape. So, 6 into 7 goes once, carry 1 over, 2 and 0. So 120 degrees is the red angle. We're going to do a similar thing for the octagon. So take your shape and let's start to divide it into triangles. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we got 5 triangles there or maybe six even one two three four five six yeah one two let's do it in blue um okay so one two three four five six we got six triangles 180 degrees in each one okay let's multiply this out six times zero zero six eights are 48 so we get 1000 and 80 degrees and um, it's a regular octagon which means all angles are the same size there's eight of them so I'm going to do 1 0 8 0 divide that by 8 and um, so that will go in once carry 2 8 16 24 carry 4 and um, 8 5 so 4 so 135 degrees okay so that's 135 degrees 1 3 5 that's the whole blue angle so now I'm going to add these, the blue and the red, together and take it away from 360. So we get 360 degrees and I need to take away 120 plus the 135. So that's going to be equal to 360. Take away 255. 255, which means that the angle X is going to be equal to 105 degrees. So x equals 105 degrees.